it's that time of year again. And this year, instead of doing gifts for guitar players, we're gonna do great stocking stuffers. Now this video is not sponsored by any of these companies. However, the links down below, if you click them, they pay a small percentage to the channel. It's a great way to support the channels. It doesn't cost you anything. And some of these are not affiliate links at all. Again, because it's everything I like and I'll explain why. So this is my actual stocking, by the way. <laughs> so, and uh, in my house, I, I know everybody has different uh, beliefs in what you, uh, what you do, but in my house at Christmas time, what we do is uh, for stockings, we draw secret Santas. So that's how we do our stocking. We have, I can tell by the box, we have the new snark. This is my absolute favorite snark. And as, I, as you know, I like snark, but this, this crushes. This is, this is forever my snark. I, I feel bad because I don't know what they're gonna invent next at Snark, but this is never gonna top this. Um, here's what they did. It looks like a traditional Snark. However, this is a rechargeable Snark. It comes with USB cable. That's so you can plug it in and charge it. Well, no more to the coin batteries. No more of that, those days are gone. More importantly, they uh, used a special coating on this and I'm, I'm not making this up so that when you put it on your headstock, um, it senses vibrations, but it's not as sensitive as they were before to the outer vibrations. In other words, like if somebody's playing loud, sometimes guitar players will notice you're tuning up and the bass player hits a note across the room and it shakes and the tuner goes crazy. They're sensitive uh, to the touch here, but not sensitive to the out, outside vibrations. So really, uh, really great. But more importantly, this is the most accurate snark I've ever used. Uh, watching it, interacting with it. Now, I still like the Silver Snark, which is basically the same thing, but it takes the coin batteries. If you still want to use batteries, I still recommend the Silver Snark as something to check out as well. What do we have next? Hold on. We have, we have the One Spot. Now, the One Spot is my favorite power supply for powering one pedal or, ah, you can get the chain and chain a bunch of pedals. Um, there's a ton of units out there, uh, wall warts, what have you, but this is the one I like. It's the one spot True Tone and the multi-plug five cable system. This works fantastic. Um, I've given some of these away on the show and I use them every time you see me do any kind of pedal video. Uh, this is what I'm plugged into if it's just a single pedal. So absolutely love these because of the low, low noise. A lot of these uh, power supplies can get noisy. This one works really well. We have some strings, String Joy, 10 to 46. One of the things I like about them though, is that it's very convenient. If you ever wanna try any kind of crazy gauges, you go right on their website, you build up whatever kind of gauge you want. You can do anything you want. I created last year some string gauges that were just off the charts crazy, just to curious what I thought. And I got to try them and experiment with them and it was really fun. Next is probably one of my favorite things. I try to give this to every single on the premium patrons. I try to send this out to the premium patrons, but however, sometimes you get other things instead of this because we're constantly running out of them when we buy them. I buy these in bulk. I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating. I buy 20, 30, 40 of these at a time from Sweetwater. If you do that, by the way, they will give you a discount at Sweetwater um, when you do that. I like to point out that some patron is gonna get this and you're gonna notice your box was open. And if your box was opened, yours was the one in this video. <laughs> because obviously I have my own. What is it? It's just a string action guide, but as you guys know, I'm a huge Stu Mac fan, but the Music Nomad guys crushed this. They put it, they knocked it out of the park. Here's what I love about it. The price is not crazy. What I love is not only is it black with white writing, so you can see it in almost any kind of lighting, they put standard and metric on each side. So you don't, so if you're doing standard, if you're doing metric, it doesn't matter. You have a side cover. Plus it's a fret rocker, it has all the things for fret rocking. And um, I still like my fret rocker that I use more than this, but in a, in a pinch, I use this all the time. But there's another point to this, and we'll come back to why I love this, because I'm gonna show you guys something, uh, hopefully at the end of the video, that may help you guys. This, this is absolutely amazing. If you are a Floyd Rose fan, uh, whether you have one of the import Floyd Roses or the German-made Schaller ones, this is the Turbo Trim. TRM, Turbo Trim Arm uh, by Floyd Rose. What is it? It is amazing. I wish they would have came up with this years ago. I'm sure you guys have seen uh, the Allen wrench holders that go on the back of the headstock, the magnetic Allen wrench, hold, Allen wrench holder, all those things. This thing blows all that stuff out of the park. What is it? It has the Allen wrench on the bottom. This is crazy. Now you probably won't be able to see it, so I'll screenshot something for you. Yeah, that's right. So you can take this out. You can make adjustments, unlock the locking nuts, 
or undo your strings. Your Allen wrench is always right there and you put it back in, it's great. I think this is awesome. This is probably my favorite uh, a kind of like enhancement of the Floyd Rose arm and I would never use anything but this now. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have, ah, Herco picks. They make an EVH pick that looks exactly like this. And what happened was I got some of those for free once. This is years and years ago. Started using them and liked them. And then I would buy the EVH picks. And what I learned for me was one day I got the Herco ones. I think it's because I couldn't find the EVH ones. And even though they say they're the same, these are just slightly, and I mean slightly stiffer than the EVH ones. And I like them just a little bit more. They're just a little bit more. And so that's what I use. You watch most of the video you'll see it silver in my hand. I like it. I like the pick attack. It really kind of sticks the, the attack. In other words, when I hit the string, I feel like I really got a hold of it and knocked it out of the park. So that's why I like this. It's got a raised, um, it's got raised lettering, raised kind of like, I call it like a cat's tongue. It feels kind of rough on your hands. If you're like me, I have really dry hands. If you have the problem I have, which is when you go to the grocery store and you have to get a, a bag to put, you know, produce in, if you have trouble kind of opening it with your hand, that's my problem because I don't have enough. Like I said, my hands are always so dry that it just kind of doesn't work. This is the pick for you for sure. Um, so there we go. Master 8 Picks. Now I did a video uh, about a year ago of Master 8 Picks. I met them at the uh, the basement of the NAMM show and uh, fell in love with them. I have one right here. Master 8 Picks are picks made in Japan. Uh, but what's nice about them is they have a raised uh, rubberized. It's like the pickup, it, the pick is not rubber except for the raised lettering and the design is rubber. And again, it really sticks. And what I like about it is when you hold it for just a few minutes, you know, kind of playing it, uh, once it warms up to room temperature, the rubber kind of not gets sticky, but you can see it kind of really holds on. Again, um, I think this one is if you have a, you know sweaty or dry hands, it works. I just like the way these feel. Um, I use these sometimes when I'm trying to find something new, a new way of kind of picking. Um, they have ones with points and without points. What's nice is these are sold by Tessie Switch. Uh, I'll put a link to his website down below. Again, very cool picks, and um, I use these quite often. Uh, sometimes we send these to the patrons. It depends if we have them or not, but very, very cool. So I think we're done with the picks. This is the last one. Prime Tones, 0.88 or one millimeter picks. Uh, and this is what I use. Prime Tones are these sculpted uh, pickups, are picks by Jim Dunlop and they're like hand burnished, which is uh, I think fancy way of saying buff. Uh, again, they have raised lettering. Again, like a cat tongue. Again, that's why I use them. These are very expensive. It's like 450 for like three of them. But I can tell you right now what I like about them. In fact, the Hercos and the Prime Tones, even though they look almost identical in the way they they kind of look, they not only sound a lot different. They 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 make me feel a little different in the way I pick. So, like I said, the Herco is if I want the string to snap. Sometimes I want a lighter feel. Believe it or not, in the videos, if you're paying attention, you'll see sometimes in a demonstration, I have this pick and sometimes I have this one, and it is always on purpose. That's never just because I grabbed whichever one. If I'm trying to play something and I don't want that, if I want a smoother, jazzier feel, a softer strum, this is what I use, the Prime Tones, for sure. These two picks uh, are absolutely fantastic. Like I said, um, been using those for years. Now the next one is the Music Nomad Truss Rod Kit. Let's do that. And in fact, I'm gonna have to do, I think, it's getting a little flat. I'm gonna do this for a reason. I also have the Stumac Screwdriver Kit. Now here's why. These are absolutely, absolutely, hands down, my favorite toolkits. This string action gauge tool right here, this truss rod kit and this screwdriver Allen wrench kit, I can set up any guitar anywhere. In other words, make any adjustments to bridges, make any adjustments to the neck on any electric guitars. Now, some acoustic guitars like Martins and Taylors have a special tool and that's a little different, but most acoustic guitars you can do with this. I'd say about 70% of the acoustic guitars you could do with just what you see here. All electric guitars. In fact, you can set up any electric guitar probably on the planet Earth with these. The Music Nomad uh, Allen wrench kit, what I love about it is it's every kind of uh, adjustment tool for the truss rod you need. It's Allen wrenches, it's got these socket sets, but more importantly, for absolutely free, you can go on the Music Nomad website and look up the truss rod finder, okay? And I'll put a link to that, it's absolutely free. So that means you don't even have to have this kit. It's a drop down menu, every single guitar and what truss rod tool you would need to make the adjustment for that truss rod. And in almost, I don't know, 95% of the cases, those are here. 
So you can get your own tools, of course, anywhere. Use their truss rod finder, save yourself some scratch. But me, I just like having the case and knowing that it's there. And last, I wanted to show you this. This I thought was really cool. I've seen different versions over the year. Obviously, uh, George L's done them, uh, lava cable. Uh, Daddario did a pedal board uh, solderless kit, and um, I like the way it's put together. This is a pretty straightforward thing. Uh, basically, it comes with the wire, the ends, um, and a cutter. So, like a cigar cutter, it looks like you can cut it. And of course, a flathead screwdriver. It's a pretty complete kit. This is something kind of fun. And uh, if you're building a pedal board, this is something if you're really, really into meticulously putting your pedal board together, kits like this are great. Like I said, there's other kits out there on the market. I just like the way they package and put this together. It's really cool. Um, I plan to do a demonstration video of this next month when I put some pedal boards together. And so that's why I have some of these. So there you go. These are things that I actually love. And I think that you should either put in your stocking or find someone you love to watch this video and get them to maybe check the links and get some of this stuff for you. I think you'll be pleasantly pleased with a lot of it. I have been enjoying it for many years now. And if you're looking for my favorite thing, it's the Snark Tuner and then the string action guide in that order. As always, I thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. Hang into the end of the video with me. It's uh, my favorite part of the video. It's where I get to thank you. As always, I wanna thank you guys so much for your time. Till the next time, know your gear. Eddie Van Halen pick that looks at They make an EVH pick that looks exactly like this and